He's kind of solid at the back. As I said, six mil thick shop towers, front and rear. Yeah. What are these? Little rubber windscreen wipers. Uh, side mirrors, sorry. Got the extinguishers. We've got the exhaust. Looks like a hot rod with exhaust on the sides. And these shocks. I, I don't think these re reservoirs do anything, man. Um, these rubber, what you call them, the shock reservoirs or, yeah, they're just for show, I think. Right, let's check, let's check the bottom of it. I'm not sure what grade in this This uh, chass chassis is, I'm not sure about the grading, you know what I mean? Could be 60, 60, 60, 61. Um, yeah, but it seems like it's hex screws. He hex hardware all the way through. I haven't seen any um, Phillips screws yet. Um, CVDs, front CVDs. You got front CVDs. Uh, and the rear is dog bones. Dog bones at the rear. So, yeah. I'm not going to make this video too long, man. But, um,. Bloody gear mesh seems a bit tight. I don't know about this gear mesh, man. I might have to check the gear mesh. Um, is it too tight or too loose? As you know, most half the time, a new RC, you have to go through it. You know what I mean? Screws and shit. Make sure it, all the screws are tight. And um, yeah, so that's what I'll be doing. I might even rip out the centre diff just to check to see if there's actually oil in the centre diff after I read the manual. If it doesn't say in the manual, I'll pull out the centre diff apart. But that's I don't I don't know if this thing looks anything like a laser nut, man. I, I've never owned a laser nut. You know what I mean? So um. You got two two aluminium center braces, number seven on there. Battery boxes, one on each side. The center diff now. This is a good feature on the center diff because the 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 casing is actually aluminium. So you got aluminium center diff case. You know what I mean? So um the motor is a uh, 40, I can't remember what the motor is. Let's check to see what the motor says. Is it a 40? I can't see. I'll look it up in the, man the manual and see, but it's got two, you see it's got two fans on there, motor fans on the, on the motor. Um, the ESC now, yeah, I can't believe how thick these shocks are, man. Look at the size of these shocks. Uh, shock towers, they're thick. They're not going to bend anytime soon. XT90, XT90 connectors. You see, you can see all the wiring, wiring management, how it's been done, and that it's pretty tidy, man. So um, for the lights and shit. XT90 connectors for the ESC. Um, Absima own branded ESC. You can see it's, it's written Absima, Absima at the bottom. If you can see Absima, let's try and 
shine some light. Absima, I don't know if this is a surplus hobby ESC. I ain't got a clue, man. Um, but yeah, and the, the steering servo is a 25kg steering servo, I believe. You've got adjustable turnbuckle links on all four corners. Um, sway bars, sway bars on all four corners. Adjustable turnbuckle links, sway bars. Um, the hinge pins are aluminium, aluminium hinge pin holders, front and rear. See the aluminium hinge pin holders, it's all aluminium. So, um, yeah, what else? I don't want to leave this, make this video too long, you know what I mean? So, um, what I'll do next is get the wheel on. I believe, yeah, this is an antenna for the Monday. You probably might not need her. Yeah, I'll put an antenna tube on that. Also, you got car netting. You see the figurines in there? You got figurines in there, car netting. So, yeah. See how this one goes, man. <laughs> Smell of a new RC. So, what else about this truck? As I said, I'll work on the wheels and tyres, put the wheels and tyres on and maybe make another vid maybe tomorrow or with the wheels and tyres on and ch uh, we check the suspension out as well I can't really tell about suspension without the wheels and tyres on let me put this GoPro down I'm not sure if I can check the suspension th there's definitely oil in it because fr from the from the uh zd is it zd racing dx dx07 the shocks were filthy um you basically have to re-oil them it's like there was no oil in the shocks so there's definitely oil in this and it seems pretty decent oil going from what I'm doing uh, yeah I think we'll leave this video here man as I said I don't leave this video too long man so maybe look out for the next vid and then I don't know as I said I want to open up the center diff just to check to see if there's actually oil in the center diffs if not I'm gonna have to oil up the center diffs man I mean the center, the front, rear and center diff um, because I like to run my cars, I don't like to run my cars with grease in it man um, I like to run them with oil that's what I do most times man if it's a new car, if it hasn't got no if it's just got grease in it, I just uh, strip it down and oil it up with silicon diff oil instead of using grease Anyway, leave this video, man.